Fibonacci, Bollinger Bands, awesome indicator and how to use it, how to make it, you know, more profitable with price action. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this video. So we are here with the Fibonacci indicator and how we're going to use it is very simple and awesome actually. So we're currently on the EURUSD currency pair. If you just go into the indicators, public library and Fibonacci, Bollinger Bands, you'll find this indicator. I believe it's for free. A lot of people have been struggling with these indicators because it doesn't really come with instructions you need to figure out by yourself so I'm going to show you how to use it so this is the Bollinger Bands basically the simple idea is uh, the same thing you know as Bollinger Bands you know you have, we have the top Bollinger Band you know bottom one and the middle one right the red one purple one and the green one in this case right we also see you know price action so we obviously need to still analyze the markets we can just use the indicator and pretend we're gonna be you know making loads of money through the forex markets because that's not how it's gonna work how we're gonna do it is simple we see you know a nice downtrend right we see a nice downtrend channel actually in this case so what do we do how do we enter you know the trades well uh, let's have a look so let's draw this downwards channel yet to again let's say it's over here it's over here right downwards trend right downwards channel is probably gonna bounce off you know the lower Bollinger Band because that's why how Bollinger Bands work right if it's touching this area of sensitivity you know the lower Bollinger Band very likely we're gonna see you know a bullish pressure towards the upside it's vice versa over here if it's overbought it's probably gonna start selling yet again so that's the idea on these Bollinger Bands but if these Fibonacci levels these white lines over here these are the Fibonacci uh, measurement that the indicator gives and that was uh, pretty cool so let's say we are on this downwards channel over here excuse my uh, trend lines by the way but anyway this is the downwards channel so we are going towards the upside look look how it reacted look it reacted towards this area of sensitivity which is obviously the lower band shot towards the upside showing you know bullish pressure and a bearish engulfing candle close but look where this candlestick closed it closed just by the side of this Fibonacci level is respecting the Fibonacci level so look the next uh, the next phase you see you enter maybe here is shooting towards the upside you know look 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 where it's going if it broke this area of sensitivity this is the ideal entry where you actually want to enter why well because it's it was you know trending towards the downside you see you know it starts breaking towards the upside after a break you know there's going to be an exhaustion so look it pushed here where's the exhaustion the exhaustion was here around this candlestick well where's the candlestick touching it's touching this white line this Fibonacci level it started to shoot towards the upside yet again and this is why it's so cool to have this strategy and you can use the same thing look every time it's trending look nice level entry towards the upside nice level entry towards the upside same thing even pull back here as well entry towards the upside then obviously it found a bearish pressure in the middle you know the touch the middle band usually reacts you know as area of sensitivity it did in this case and boom it started to shoot towards the downside on the Fibonacci levels but generally if you use you know uh, let's say support and resistance trend lines you know you know what the hell you're doing if you if you use you know on the four hourly time frame let's say we are here somewhere uh, maybe let's say this is an area of sensitivity right why is there an area of sensitivity well have a look over here loads of price action loads of price action loads of price action you know our market has been moving like this right so usually if the markets move like this in the past it'll probably be the same thing in the future we can't guarantee it of course but we have this you know Fibonacci indicator and this is the middle zone very likely it's going to be respected as a resistance in this case or support whichever way you analyze it if it was above obviously support but in this case resistance line giving us a bearish engulfing candle close this is a huge indicator that this sellers are in the market and it will probably start dropping towards the downside so generally if you see some price action like this you know bearish engulfing candle close or even if you wait for a little bit you know after this candlestick and you see this bearish engulfing candlestick you enter for a sell trade towards the downside so what do we do we sell it and there we go look it's 
shooting towards the downside now finding again area of sensitivity where on the Fibonacci level the white lines over here as you can see are being respected yet again and that's how you trade the Fibonacci levels with the auto Fibonacci indicator trust me this indicator works you just need to know a little bit of price action trend lines so if you know all the fundamentals quite well you will find this strategy really useful and I hope you enjoyed this video